Hello there, Chris Kelly with your 90-90 hip lift tutorial. And for this exercise, we're going to need a yoga block or two, as well as something that we can put behind our head, like a bolster or a rolled up mat. And so, 90-90 hip lift is something that is probably in your program at this point, but also something that we want to explore a little bit more deeply, okay? It's really the Swiss Army knife of our repositioning idea or putting our body in a good place. And the reason that is, is because as you can see here, my everything is nice and aligned in this position so we have my head which is in line with my pelvis which is in line with my hips and eventually we want to get this into this is kind of like what a squat would look like if you were standing up and so really we, we just want to practice the fundamentals that we'll eventually do standing here um, as well as use this position to help to relax everything and get us into a good position to start the day and so first aspect of 99 that we want to focus on is breathing so i'm going to put my hands on my ribs here and as I breathe in, I want to think about air coming into my stomach, into my ribs, into my back, as well as in my chest, like a full 360 balloon. So I take a deep breath in, and I'm thinking of like a six to eight second deep breath in, very long breath. And then an even longer exhale. And I just pause for a second. I'm going to do the same thing again. Deep breath in. Just very long exhale. Another pause. One more time. Long breath in. Even longer exhale. So those are there's a, you know, that's kind of the, the cadence of breathing that we want, like very long breaths as we do this. I say like we have sets of five breaths in our um, typically in the things that I give you. Those are five very, very long breaths. It's a lot of time, you know, spent in those breathing in, in those breaths. Second, I want to do the same thing, but this time I'm just gonna lightly press my back into the ground. Okay, just a little bit. Okay, I'm using my abs to take it, I'm not using my abs, but I'm taking a deep breath in. Keeping my abs on just a little bit more, feeling back, my back in the ground, exhale. And what you'll often find is when we don't have a core that's strong, when we breathe in, our back will arch off the ground. All right, so we want to prevent that. So one more time, breath in with a little bit of ab, ab tension. And then breath out. You might not have been able to get as long of a breath, but almost as long. And when I say tension, I mean like about 20 to 30%, not much at all. Okay, now, from here, once you can do that, that's our goal is to keep, by using our abs that way, it's going to keep our rib cage from coming forward every time we breathe, and that's a major part of this process in terms of training what we want. Okay, so keeping that abs tension. Second, we're going to take a block, we're going to put it between our knees. Okay, now, depending on what I tell you, um, either we have a pelvis that just tips forward on both sides, meaning like both sides are forward, and we're going to use our hamstrings to pull them back, our hamstrings and our inner thighs. So I either want to find one side or two sides. I'm either going to do my left or I'm going to do my left and my right together. So let's assume that we're just doing our left. Okay, so a lot of people, I'll just cue you to push your left heel into the bench here so I can feel the back of my left leg and push my left knee into the block so I feel my left inner thigh. Okay, and let's say that's fine. Okay, you're going to tip your hips off the ground just a little bit while keeping your back in the ground. We're going to take a deep breath in. And we're going to exhale. And when I say exhale here, I'm thinking about not as hard as I can do, but about like blowing out like I'm blowing through fog. So I'm trying to disperse the fog in front of my face. But I'm not blowing out so hard that, you know, I'm blowing up a balloon yet. So let's do one more deep breath in. And then just exhaling. Okay, so let's say you couldn't feel your hamstring. Let's say you had problems with that. Okay, what you could do is just try to find those same muscles. And again, you might feel other muscles kicking in or you just not, might not feel that at all. What I want you to do is just tap your heel. Okay, think about doing this. Okay, while you're pushing your left heel and your inner thigh into the ground. Or just do that motion where you're just pushing like that. Okay, this should really help. Even if you just kind of come up and down a couple times. That'll really start to kick on the hamstring. The final thing you could do is take your hands 
and put it on your hamstring just to try to tap it, tapping it like this, or use, <laughs> it would be tapping it like that just on the other side. So you can see what I'm doing there, tapping it, kind of telling it to turn on. Same thing with the inner thigh. I can take the hands, boom, tap the inner thigh, make it turn on, come up, and just breathe in that position. Now, if we have both sides, the only really cue that I would give is obviously we're going to push both heels in the ground, but a good way to feel this is to take our feet and kind of bring them out a little bit. So I'm squeezing the butt between my knees. I kind of bring my feet out. So my, my feet are going this way. My knees are going that way. That's, that tends to help me to find my inner thighs a little bit better. Again, I'm pushing both heels into the ground. I'm pushing my knees in the block and I'm coming up. Now the other thing is, oftentimes I'm going to ask you to reach in certain ways. Okay, I'm going to show you a couple different styles of reaching and kind of the breathing associated with it. And we'll, we'll get more into this in your specific correctives, but I want to show you each so you know. Alright, so our first one would be arms overhead. Okay, so when I cue you to put your arms overhead, um, the way we breathe is, I'm going to just assume that, you know, we're, we're working on both hamstrings here. I'm going to cue you to take a deep breath in through your nose and then hard exhale. So a little bit harder than blowing through fog. I pause in between. Another deep breath in. Long exhale. I pause. Deep breath in. Long exhale. And I pause. Now, the other thing is, as I'm doing that, I'm thinking about looking straight up to the ceiling. Okay, so whether my arms are back or up, or whatever it may be, my eyes stay straight up. I don't want to look back. I don't want to look down. I want to keep my neck in a good position. Okay, so let's say I cued you to reach your arms up like this. Okay, the same rules are going to apply to everything except for our breathing. Um, I'm going to kind of scoop my pelvis up. I'm going to find my abs, I'm going to take a deep breath in, and as I reach up towards the seat, as I exhale, I'm going to reach up towards the ceiling while kind of like scooping my pelvis under, meaning that, that back in the ground, hips slightly off the ground thing, we're trying to emphasize that, so I press my back more into the ground and I'm trying to scoop my pelvis more up towards the ceiling. Deep breath in, reach and scoop. Deep breath in, reach and scoop. And again, as I'm doing that breath, I'm blowing out a little bit wider, okay? Again, like I'm blowing through fog. Now our last one would be just arm up to one side like this. Okay, and this one again, we're blowing as if we're blowing through fog. The only difference is with this one, typically I'm just gonna have um, one foot off the ground. I'm just gonna be focusing on my left side. So. Same thing, I want to find the back of my shoulder here by taking my palm and kind of pushing back into the ground, digging back, pushing my hips slightly off the ground, taking a deep breath in, and exhaling. Wider exhales if I'm blowing through fog. One more time, deep breath in, exhale, and pause. So there's a lot of different things that we can do in this position, but the last thing would be just to lie here and just breathe. Just let your back drop into the ground. Don't worry about forceful exhales, but just let gravity drop you down. This is an awesome thing to do before bed or after a long day where your back started to hurt. Just get everything relaxed. All right, so pick the thing that works for you with 90-90, but just pay attention to the cues that I gave you and be awesome today.